Hi guys, it's Adam here. Ah, yes, I am back with a new camera. Now, I, I'm not using the microphone just yet. Um, I just wanted to get this up, so I'm not going to stuff around putting a new external mic on, but, oh, the pain and agony um, I went through today to get this silly camera. Now, I went into Brisbane thinking, oh, I'll be in Ted, so... Went all the way into the city, um, knowing um, that's where Graham got his one from. His Kodak, um, was it, uh, what are they called? ZI8. Um, Kodak, um, quick cam thing, blogger, whatever you want to call it. Now, I went in there, I asked him, I said, oh, have you sold out of the, um, ZI8? became what the name of the stupid camera is and they said uh let me have a look and she went out the back and yeah we're sold out and I go damn it so knowing I had already checked all through Brisbane I went into camera house what was another one I didn't check nope they don't stock Kodak for some weird reason so decided to go all the way to Indrapilly because I knew there was a camera place there and Harvey Norman's and I went to Harvey Norman's in Indrapilly and I must have walked, I've walked two levels of Indrapilly, walked up one end to Myers, looked in Myers, Myers didn't have it. Then I went down a level, well actually I went right to the bottom to find the stupid camera um, section and Myers couldn't find it in there so I had to go up one level. And I walked up until I got up to the camera house, looked in there. They don't sell a single Kodak product, product in camera house. What the use of a, a camera place if you don't sell every type of brand out there? So that was stupid. So walked out and went, okay, Harvey Norman's must have it in stock. Now, I had to have this camera because it has the mic inputs. And the mic inputs are important when I create my good, high-quality video. So, walked up to um, Harvey Norman's and looked in. No Kodak. Not even the cheap budget cameras were um, on display. But then again, uh, there was the cheap $99 ones they just brought out. What, in ways, is crap. So, everything went... Bad, oh, I screw this. So I went, oh, okay, I'll jump on the new Route 88. What well, goes through to um, Malkovac, you don't have to change in the city. So I'm like walking up to the bus stop and I'm looking at the bus signs. I go to myself, where's Route 88? I like looked at every platform, not one had Route 88. And at the time, my iPhone internet's playing up. Well, it's still playing up. I have to call up Telstra on Friday because I can't do it today because I go work in the morning I might do a troubleshooting tonight to see if we get so I had I walked back in found some free um, Wi-Fi and got on to um, translink.com and looked up and went oh, okay where is it where is it found an Pilly and it says bus 45 yeah bus 45 and I go what the hell on Musgrave Road and I go where the hell is Musgrave Road so I looked up so one sign with the station road and I went nope it's not that way and then I looked across over the other way and there we go must go road so I walked out walked out and I started looking at all the bus stop signs and I looked up the road and I went I bet it's that one way up in the distance so I walked up first bus I came across was not in service so I went okay that's not it and just as I walked past I just saw a brand spanking new bus um just the side of the sign and I went I wonder popped my head around the side and 88 and went yep ran up jumped on it so I got on this bus um, luckily I just made it in time so I jumped on the bus and I um, it's it's it, 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 it take off and up the road I Decided to put the seat up because I was sitting on um, one's uh, the seats are like in the L position um, on the bus in the disabled area, and I decided oh, I'll sit there. So I'm sitting there. I put the seat up one of the little seats where the disabled person sits, and this asshole who was sitting in the front, I didn't know why he moved. 
He moved across and he started jamming the seat down on my leg. I'm like, going, going fucking knife. And I ended up taking some video of him. I'll probably put a video up. And, and he just sits down and he starts talking on his phone really loudly. Like, I was only on the phone for a few seconds telling Graham I couldn't find the phone. I uh, phone, find the camera. So I hanged up as soon as the bus took off. So. So that arsehole was on the bus until we got to the city. I was thank God he got off at um, what was it King George Square bus station? Thank God. So the bus continues on to to Mount Cavett. Now I knew Mount Cavett had the camera I was looking for, and it was in stock, sort of. It was last display model they had in. Now, the young fella, he said, yep, yep, I'll do a deal. He, he ma price matched um, Ted's and everything, so I was happy about that. He even dropped the 95 cents off what Ted's was advertising it at. And he said, okay, I'll just quickly box it back up and give it a quick clean up for you and all that. And I go, cool, thank you for that. So he said, clean up, looking at the box, couldn't find the battery. Some doofus had... Harvey Normans took the battery out and lost it. So I had a camera with no battery and they said, oh, you could put a deposit on and um, as soon as we get the ca uh, the battery in, we'll call you up and you can come pick it up. And I go, no, I want the camera right now. Um, I'll go, if, if I have to, I'll go and look for the battery. So they said, oh, okay, if you find the battery, come in, we'll... we'll um, cover the difference of the uh, battery um, unless it was to the right price. So I'm walking up and around. I must have went to close to five, ten stores. Couldn't find the battery. Got us, I was heading up to what was it? Telstra shop. And I looked at my iPhone and it was a missed call and I went, ah oh, damn it. Because I accidentally, you know how you got the um, silent mode switch? I accidentally knocked that over. So the stupid thing ha I didn't hear, and because it was in my lower, in my um, shorts pocket, I didn't feel it. Um, usually when it's up here uh, on, on the on, on the top pocket, I usually get a heart attack when it goes. But um, I missed it, and I answered, uh, went to message bank, and, and this lady comes up say, Hi, um, this is such and such from Harvey Norman's Miracle Vat. We have got your replacement battery for your camera. Could you ring us on this number? And I went, okay, stuff ringing back. I'll just walk straight back up. and Okay, so I walked all the way back. This is a oh, good kilometer to walk back to Harvey Norman because I was up the other end of the shopping centre. So I walked back, all the way back to the other end of the America Vet where Harvey Norman's is, walked up, and a young fella spotted me, and he said, yep, yep, you're back for the battery. I go, yep. And he turned and turned around, I'll go and, I'll go and get that battery for you. So he ran out the back, got the battery, and came back to me. And he explained to me that, um, oh, I'm trying to remember the brain. Let me have a look. Uh, where is it? Harvey Norman's. Where is it? Ah, oh, there it is. Um, what's that? Fuji brand. It uses a silly Fuji brand battery. So, I've now found out that I can use Fuji um, batteries of the, um, what was it? Um, KLIC 7004 batteries from the Fuji brand. So now I know that for next time when I go to get a new battery because I'm going to get a couple of batteries because I'm off hopefully off to the States in the middle of this year to do a tour of the US. Um, I'm going to train around the US. Um, I'm going to do some interviews and that. I'm staying the line up in the new year. So yeah, so that's my day. Got the camera. Eventually got all my stuff I wanted from the shopping centres and I walked out and got the bus. As I walked out I just timed it right, the bus was only a few minutes away so I waited probably 10 minutes, the bus was there, I was back here, um, I think it was 3 o'clock, I walked up to IGA, did my shopping 
and I came home and I walked in the door about I think it was five past four so I've been home for about an, an hour now so but you yeah, know that was my day it was a hell of a things so now I've got this new camera I am gonna blog a little bit more because it's a good little camera um, I had a little test before but I decided the movement was a little bit uh, much it's probably a little bit a little bit of movement in it at the moment because I'm getting used to this new camera and hopefully um, Graham and me have found this cool little um, handle you can put on the bottom and it makes it a little bit easier to hold um, plus I'm going to go out and buying a whole lot of camera rigging because I'm going to put a microphone on this plus I'm going out and go buy myself a nice road lapel there's a nice one out there about Oh, I think it's all about $230 with all the extra pieces you go buy for it to connect up um, and get that because I'll go to interviews, I'll go do shows of starting a new channel in the new year called, um, oh, I haven't named it yet, but it's to do with allergies, food allergies and um, how to cook for people who have food allergies. Um, sadly, I'm one of those people who have three food allergies I can't drink milk so I drink soy milk um, I can't eat avocado and the final one I can't think of what else I'll probably remind myself later in track but there's a few things I can't eat so um, I decided I'm going to do a cooking channel because I know a few cool recipes to um, cook with well that's a bit of my ramble guys I'll, I'll probably see you over the Christmas break because I'm not going anywhere so I'm going to be blogging all through Christmas um, tomorrow I'm off to work so I'll blog tomorrow and I'll blog probably Friday um, I probably won't do anything Saturday Sunday but I'll be back Monday morning probably doing more blogs and Starting on the 18th January, that's when I turn 29, I'm blogging for 365 days, um, like how Shay Carl did um, before his 30th birthday, um, to do a day in the life of me. Okay, until next time, guys, you stay safe, and I'll see you around on my YouTube channel, Chillsy One, and hopefully my new cooking channel in the new year, well, it will be probably a one a week video. Be simple, easy um, recipes. Plus, I'll be back on Brick 101 in the new year. Until then, stay safe, have a Merry Christmas, and I'll see you tomorrow.